Hello and welcome Diecast Emporium fans to another video review. You're going to get a two for one in this one. We're going to look at two 1 to 87 scale vehicles. Uh, if this is your first time watching, thank you very much. If this is your 150,000th time watching, thank you very much. So 1 to 87 is a small scale usually intended for the model railroad community. But if you've been with me before, you know that this is my second favorite scale to collect. And there's a ton of variety out there, not just in the construction field, but in all other um, machines or cars or really whatever. There's plenty of stuff out there. So what we're looking at here is an Owen KRH 6-22 tracked excavator. Now what's unusual about this machine is the fact that it has metal tracks. Um, there's a couple Komatsu excavators that NZG did that featured metal rolling tracks, but this is definitely one of the best excavators you can get if, and let me emphasize if, you want something better than a rubber tracked excavator, but you don't want to remortgage and or sell yourself on the side of the street for a brass model. So if you want something in between that looks good, this is a solid choice. Also, both of these models, I still get questioned all the time as to where I purchase the majority of my models. And that's okay. I mean, we're all, you know, we're all special in our own ways. I mean, I still can't wash any of my suits without them coming out with pink spots on them. But, you know, whatever. We're all special. Uh, look at my main page on YouTube, or follow me on Instagram, look there. And the big, huge logos on the banner are where I purchase 99.9% .9 of my models from. So, if you're ever wondering where I get my models from, that would be a good place to look and a good place to start. So, onward with the review. By the way, I hope this thing on the side of the street didn't offend anybody. If it did, sorry, not sorry. We're all here to have some fun. So let's take it off the no expense spared $5 spinning table. Overall, great machine, great range of motion, both in and out. Can go in like that. And it looks pretty darn good on the Norscott little boy. There we are. In addition, it can dig to a depth of about that far. So... Not great, but I don't see a problem with it, honestly. And there's great hydraulic detailing all up the boom and stick. As you saw it on the spin table, there's great O and K lettering on the counterweight. A nice exhaust. And it's definitely got some weight to it, and that's helped by these metal tracks. Spinning 360 degrees like your boss has you doing every day. Is accomplished very, very easy with this. No problem at all. And last but not least, this is the rather unusual style box that it comes in because the only way to tell what's inside is by a check mark right here. So these are different model numbers for different model designations. Nowhere on here does it say it's an ONK model at all. Great model, highly recommended. Both the models that you see here today, again, if I did not say, uh, were purchased from Roy Ferguson Sales, one of the official sponsors of Diecast Emporium. Great guy to deal with. Like all of my other sponsors, they often have sales. So frequent the websites and uh, obviously support the guys in the community. That's what we're all here to do. Second model is um, stretching the word model as far out as I can. Here's a Siku Vogela Super 1900 paver, also in 1 to 87 scale. This is a new one that I have. If you've been with me a while, you know I have a blue one. a um, Basically a blue paver with a white top. This is in the corporate colors of a green paver with the yellow top, which I like a lot better because it looks more realistic. The only thing that's functional on here is the hoppers that fold up to a decent degree, 
to force material on the belt. Let's get a Bully 187 scale dump truck in here so we can mimic what that might look like. There we go. If I can get the dump bed to cooperate. Thank you. So if you have a suitable paver, even this three-piece paving train would look great on your layout or in the display case. Now for the not-so-great part. It's got these wheels underneath, very much like a Hot Wheels type setup, so the tracks don't work. It rolls around by these wheels. But again, you're not going to really see that if you're using it just as a layout or whatever. So that's not totally a big deal breaker. Auger doesn't move, the screen doesn't extend, and it doesn't really go up or down at all. But what can you say for six, seven bucks? It's really a good deal, especially if you want a paver in this scale. So there it is, there it is guys. The review of the Siku Vogla Super 1900, which comes in this type of box right here. And the NZG ONK RH622 tracked excavator, which comes in this type of box here. So as always, appreciate you spending time with me. Thank you for watching all my videos. I try to get to all your questions and comments. Like I say, though, all the time, this is not my day job. So bear with me. It may take me a little bit to get to you but I always try and answer as much of them as I can. If you're new to the channel, be sure to follow us on Instagram. And yes, I still have a Facebook page. I don't post there as much as I do on Instagram, but if you want to like us on there, that would be great. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. Be safe, take care, and we'll see you soon.